The following video contains stunts performed by trained professionals on a closed course under strict supervision. Any attempt to recreate these activities could result in injury, death, and significant damages to personal property. And you would be forever known as the person who died trying to imitate something from the internet. Don't try this at home. You know, the guys here at Rooster Teeth play a lot of video games, and one of my favorite kinds of games to play are third-person action games, like Grand Theft Auto 4 here. I realize I always kind of take it for granted that when you drive a car in these kind of games, you drive from a third-person perspective. You can switch to first-person like in the real world, but you never do, because it's kind of inconvenient to drive a video game car like it's a real-world car. And then I thought, well, it'd be kind of fun to drive a real-world car like a video game car, but you can't really do that. Or can you? And so I thought, I've got some spare time. I have some spare money. I have a car that I hate. So I asked my good friend Griffin Hello. to help me run a little experiment. Today, we are going to be trying to make a real-life video game car. Come on, let me show you what we did with the vehicle. All right. What do we got here? Well, the main challenge was suspending a camera above and behind the vehicle in a stable fashion. Right. So we custom built the steel Z-bar to fit into a two-inch trailer hitch. Okay. And then we cut an opening for the tripod to fit into. And then on top of that, we have a Canon 5D Mark II DSLR that can take a uh, full-frame HD video with a 17-millimeter lens. That way we can see a lot of the truck in front of it and on the sides without getting any kind of distortion or anything like that. It's basically about $2,500 worth of camera equipment sitting on top of what looks like duct tape and zip ties. Well, that's exactly what it is. Behind a truck that's going to be moving at 40 miles an hour. Right, but don't worry about it. We got this. All right, well, let's, uh, let's go see where this video cable goes. Okay. Watch your head. So we've secured a 15-inch monitor behind the steering wheel, yeah. run by the HDMI cable from the camera, okay. and powered by a 120-volt battery. All right, so in theory, the way this is going to work is that everything the camera back there sees is going to be projected on the monitor in front of them. Yeah. And just so that there's no cheating, and they don't look past the monitor to the road in front of them, we've blacked out all the windows, including the windshield and the driver's side window. So they won't be able to see anything at all besides the monitor. Safety first, kids. All right, and finally we have here our test subjects, number one and number two. Here's all you need to know, guys. Over here, we have set up a vehicle for you. All you have to do, get in the vehicle and drive the course that we have prepared out here on the runway. Think you can handle that? Yeah, it's easy. What Good. are Monty and Frank doing over there? Yeah, they're like uh, greeters. Think of us like valets. Why do the valets need bats? Go! I don't, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so all Jeff has to do now is he has to navigate to the finish line using the course that we've laid out here without running over any cones or any of our blow-up pedestrians oh, we have along the way. Yeah, too late already. <laughs> Not that cone. The rest of the cones he has to stay in the middle of. All right, what do you say? You want to make this interesting? Yeah, let's do it. Competition between them, competition between us. Well, how much? I don't know, what do you got? 50? 50 bucks, sure. All right. Who, who am I taking? Oh, you can have Jeff. Please <laughs> take that. You don't want 50 bucks on your own husband? No. All right, a halfway decent horrible ride by Jeff. That was about 13 cones knocked over and two pedestrians. Am I gonna have to do this? Yep, you're on deck, buddy, get ready. Whoa, that's super, super hard. Go! This is just like Gus's normal walk to school <laughs> growing up. He had years of training. Except he didn't, he didn't have a car at the end of it. Please don't kill me, I'm not wearing a seatbelt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's gonna die. I'm gonna fucking die! Is that a blow-up doll? Where the fuck am I? <laughs> oh, that's Brandon. <laughs> hey, Brandon, what's up? Are we, like, going sideways? <laughs> you come through the corner. What the fuck? This might be close. I think Jim might actually beat him on time. <laughs> that hairpin turn is impossible. <laughs> okay, there's the guys with the camera. Don't kill them. Which way? I don't even know which way straight. I think the steering wheel is like fucking crooked or something. Photo finish. Luckily we have 18 cameras out here. There we go. How do you think you did? Done. I think I did awesome. Until I got to the hairpin turn. <laughs> we'll see. All right, he made it. There yeah. you go. You win. I knew All right. it. 
Good job, buddy. Well, I have to say that you did not hit any civilians, which is good. I did. You hit all civilians. Yes. You're like a genocide <laughs> <laughs> achievement. You hit three, four, how Set many cones? Seven cones. He hit seven cones and you hit 13, 13 cones. So, Gus. I win again. science. Congratulations, buddy. What did you guys learn? I learned that foam baseball bats hurt about as much as real ones. Oh, that can't possibly be true. You guys are babies. This is for science. Oh, fucker! <laughs>